Uh, we're going to start with uh, Gu Haobo, uh, who is going to talk to us about a sub topic that's very, very dear to my heart. For the first time in history, really, we don't have to accept what manufacturers give us in terms of keyboards. We can make our own very practically. And uh, so Gu is going to talk about keyboard firmware. So thank you very much. Uh. Thank you, Bart. And today I will talk about ARMK, uh, which is a keyboard firmware written in Rust. And uh, about me, I'm Haobo, and I'm working as a LLM researcher. But in my spare time, I, uh, I mostly write embedded Rust. And I'm also a keyboard collector and creator. So uh, now you know why why did I start the this pro this project because I like building cables and I like writing Rust. So uh, the first question is what is the keyboard firmware? Uh, in one word, the keyboard firmware is the software running on the microcontrollers in your in your keyboard. It uh, it reads the physical case strokes and convert those uh, physical case strokes to the digital report and send the digital report to your computer. Uh, it sounds simple, right? Uh, it was, it was simple in about uh, maybe 10 or 20 years ago, but now uh, the keyboard firmware becomes a very, very complex embedded software because many, many features, the, the, the key processing features and the input devices are added to the keyboard, such as the touchpad, the trackball. So uh, you might hear about uh, QMK or ZMK. Both of them are written in C, and both of them have uh, a long list of uh, of the feature set. So uh, those uh, those m uh, more and more features and input devices makes the keyboard firmware a quite complex uh, and the modern uh, the embedded software. So before uh, before I introducing ARMK, I want to talk about the embedded Rust ecosystem. This diagram is the uh, it describes the embedded Rust ecosystem uh, from my own uh, understanding. As you can see, in the uh, in at the bottom, there are common uh, hardware peripherals like GPIO and common protocols like S Square C. And in Rust, we have uh, embedded how on it. The embedded how is uh, actually a set of traits which describes the common hardwares. And uh, and based on the embedded how we ha actually have two sets of uh, middlewares. The first is the uh, how implementation for the specific microcontrollers, and the second one is the platform agnostic driver, which is actually the users of those uh, embedded how traits. And uh, on the top, uh, in the actual uh, embedded software. Uh, the application combines the uh, how implementation for microcontrollers and the platform agnostic driver into the final embedded software. That's the uh, that's the embedded Rust. How the embedded Rust work in my understanding, and in this diagram, ARMK serves as two roles. Uh, ARMK core is actually the platform agnostic driver, and ARMK also provides uh, provides a set of tools which helps you to build your uh, keyboard application. So this is ARMK core. Uh, there are three main parts of ARMK Core. The first one is the input devices, which uh, including the K-matrix, rotary encoder, uh, joysticks, and the, uh, those input devices are actually the, uh, the, 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 the driver, the platform agnostic driver. That means you can use the, those input devices with any uh, anyhow that uh, implements the embedded how traits. So uh, the, Im 
the input devices are responsible for reading the user's input and convert the uh, user's input to uh, to the events, the input events. And and in the middle part, the event processors process all those input events uh, and convert those in, uh, events to the uh, HID report. Uh, this processor part is actually the most complex and most uh, most difficult part of the whole uh, project because uh, there are many, many advanced features, many, many key processing uh, logics is here. But what is lucky is that we have uh, decoupled the uh, processors with the input devices uh, by, uh, you know, the, the processors are only care about the input events. So thanks to Rust's uh, great testing uh, infrastructure, we can easily write unit, unit tests for, those, for all the processors, which makes the life much uh, easier. And uh, for the last part, uh, the last part is the HID reporter. The HID reporter is uh, responsible for communicating with the PC, with your computer, via USB or BLE, uh, which is the Bluetooth low energy. And uh, fortunately, we have trace again here. For USB, we have MSC USB, and for Bluetooth, we have BTHCI. Uh, in, uh, in Rust embedded world, there is also a great uh, a great uh, Bluetooth Bluetooth host implementation called Trouble, which makes uh, writing the uh, Bluetooth reporter much uh, quite enjoyable. Yeah. And there is one more thing I want to mention is that the whole system, the whole framework is fully event-driven, uh, interrupt-driven, and async-based. Uh, that means you don't have to manually write your uh, code to put your microcontroller in the uh, sleep mode or low power mode. Uh, thanks to the embassy framework, this is done automatically. That means uh, if you don't have your case uh, pressed on your keyboard, uh, your microcontroller is autom automatically in the sleep mode, which is very cool. So uh, next, okay. So next, I will introduce the ARMK application. Uh, ARMK actually uh, provides many, uh, many, many, many tools for creating the keyboard application. The first one is ARMKit. ARMKit is actually a command line tool which you can create, uh, which you can use to create your keyboard project from the keyboard uh, templates, and to make it. Mm, more easier for new users, uh, ARMK has a uh, easy and simple configuration system which uses Rust's Proc Micro. When building the when building the uh, the firmware, uh, the Proc Micro will will read a config file, a Tomo config file named keyboard.tomo, and convert all those. Uh, con configurations of the keyboard to a final to the, to, to the final uh, working code and that means you don't have to write any rust code to configure your keyboard you all you need is one uh, tomo configuration that's the uh, arm application and the configuration is uh, simple but actually armk has a feature a rich feature set uh, for example, ARMIC has great microcontroller support, such as ESP32, STM32, RP2040, NRF52, uh, thanks to the great Rust embedded ecosystem. And, and ARMIC has also the VAL support. Uh, uh, VAL is a software that means, uh, that means you can change your, your key maps on the fly when the keyboard is running. And ARM is also low power ready, where it is ready, and speedy ready. That means you can build your uh, wired or wireless speedy keyboard by yourself. And the future, there is actually still a long list of to do, a long to do list of ARM K. For example, the uh, RGB support, display support, and uh, if you are interested with. Uh, writing uh, Rust embedded uh, applications. I think ARMK is a good uh, start project for you. Okay. Uh, oh, 
That's all. Thank you. <laughs>